ninataw ka kasunan ka Ubay ng gichi ka isaya ho Nagir mamasunan ka Ubay ng gichi We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright Kakasunan ka, ubang gichi ka isaya mo, nagir mamasunan ka, ubang gichi. One more time, ninataw ka kasunan ka, ubang gichi ka isaya mo, nagir mamasunan ka, ubang gichi. Father, let me abound in this grace also. I have received the grace for prayer. Let the grace for revelation rest upon me. Let me not just be a prayer person. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Someone is praying. The grace for favor. I'm tired of struggling in my organization. Struggling in ministry. Struggling financially. Compromising here and there because of money. Go ahead and pray. Tired of stuntedness, gifted but limited because the grace for influence is not there. The hear ye him anointing is not there. Someone pray. I make progress, but my progress is slow, annoyingly slow. Lord, grant me the grace for speed. Someone pray, pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Ashalagabeka parakata parakatos. The manifold grace of God at work in your life. The manifold grace of God. Financial grace. Leadership grace, grace for prayer, grace for revelation, grace for influence, activating the gifts of man. These are the graces that give you an edge in life and destiny. These are the graces that give you an edge in ministry, an edge in business. more seconds you are praying 10 more seconds you are praying 10 more seconds you are praying ten more seconds you are praying in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray while preparing for this teaching I was not crying but I found tears just running out of my eyes and I began to think to myself what if I did not know this what if these graces were not found in my life I would have been such a frustrated man of God I probably would have raised a frustrated people lopsided in many ways maybe I would have been a man of prayer with no grace for revelation there would be no growth and maturity or I would have been a man sound in revelation but I would have downplayed the prayer ministry maybe I would not have been able to attract certain kinds of people because the grace that brings kings nobles it's not there. Maybe I never would have been able to bring the lost even 
I would have preached all kinds of sermons. And after that, you make an altar call. And once in a while, somebody who is not sure will just troll and come and stand and be laughing all through while you are saying he should recite the salvation prayer. I wonder how we would have been able to fund some of these multi-million crusades across the globe with integrity, without putting pressure on people, with all due respect. You imagine if I had to come here now, this crusade is next week, and say for instance, maybe we need $500,000 or a million dollars, and announce everybody, come, please, come. The time you would have used learning this thing now would have been manipulation. Anybody who is blessed now becomes you are suffering. You are even afraid of coming. You see how compromises start. The time to learn the word of God is now used for something else. Under pressure, I may start telling lies and prophesy something that God did not say. Not necessarily because I'm bad, but I have a bill, maybe extra 200,000, 300,000 dollars, and you are to meet it within one week. This is how good people become evil people. Not because they were always evil people. They rejected a grace that gave Satan an edge to their lives. I'm saying this to you because if it affected those who went ahead of you, it will affect you too if you don't pay attention. You may be a man of prayer, but the day you need one million for your children's school fees, you will be surprised if all it takes is to just sign that document and only you and, and the director will know. You want, to, you want to stand for righteousness, but you need the money. Your child's education is your business. And before you know it, you and your wife will agree and say, you know what, let's just sign this thing. And you will sign it and for the rest of your life, your conscience will not leave you. But that is what happens. Why follow the way of perdition when there is a grace allocated for it? I'm about to speak over your life. I want you to receive this grace. Receive it. I know what it has done in my life. Receive it. I also received it. You're a man of God here. Receive it. Don't let pride allow you to suffer for nothing. You are following online whether you're a man of God with all due respect. Receive it. Add that grace to your ministry and watch what it becomes. Add that grace to your business. Add that grace to your finances. Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashia, name of Jesus I pray for anyone here you have struggled with prayer is something you can't tell anyone but every time you go to pray you are sleeping you are snoring you watch people pray generating power but the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus genuine authentic grace for prayer let it rest on you now let it rest on you now pastor let it rest on you now businessman let it rest on you now the grace to wake up and pray pray yourself to greatness i release that grace upon you now number two laziness over the study of scripture there is no book you have brought that you've been able to read. You've not been able to read one book of the Bible. You are a sincere Christian. It's been a struggle. It's not by trying. Once that grace is not there, you will struggle. I pray for you. Passion for the word. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace 
the grace for signs and wonders bringing evidence to your Christian work you are a man of God here receive it it takes power to give witness to the resurrection I pray for you fearful evidences of God's grace striking testimonies begin to experience it in your life begin to experience it in ministry begin to experience it in your life extraordinary wonders may it be rushed through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that draws men the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Bible says "Doth not wisdom cry I'm praying for you the era of foolish decisions trouble-making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare favor whether you go out whether you come in whether you are in Nigeria whether you are outside Nigeria may that favor compel men to help you speedily compel men to help you speedily let me pray for your finances in the name that is above all names I'm praying for you may God do something in your life between now and the end of July that will change your finances honestly if you have the faith to believe this may God do something in your life may God raise a man may God bring an idea may God make your proposal pass through by any godly means arise to a new financial status rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing I say it again rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing you will lend to nations in the name of Jesus Christ may my God give you treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places let me pray for you when a season where Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short when people are just about to emerge to a new layer in ministry and destiny they just die like that I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus you shall not die receive it or you shall not die not by sickness not by accident not by witchcraft not by oppression anybody cooking up enchantment against you let it backfire back to them 
in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year their evil returns back to them hallelujah there are people here look at me now I'm not saying going abroad really means anything but there are people there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of jesus the giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain they say when your father did not climb there your mother did not climb there i pray for someone again in the name of jesus for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker i i release that grace upon you listen god who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where i am today i pray for you may god announce your names to kings announce your name to governments announce your name to captains of industry in the name of jesus christ everything that fights your influence fights your relevance by this grace it dies here tonight hear me every man of god connected to this grace every true son and daughter in ministry i pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor jesus in your life i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them they will not be small i say it again be multiplied may you experience the glory of god now hear me hear me we're wrapping up my apologies for stretching you but you'll be surprised what will happen to you listen can i tell you the truth not everybody has been mandated to help you stop looking for everybody to help you this is not how it works and don't choose the person to help you by yourself you will make a mistake you will choose in the flesh but you need one person i can point strategic people who appeared in my life and brought years and added them to my life i've seen my own may you see your own in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of jesus christ by your reception of these manifold graces i'm praying for you results you have not seen from january till july begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from january till now i say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things driving good people making you see good as evil and evil as good i decree and declare let that cloud be lifted from off your head 
every demonic force manipulating your reasoning always making you to get into trouble making bad decisions i cry unto god again in the name of jesus may your mind be under the influence of the spirit of god superior destiny advancing decisions ministry advancing decisions finance multiplying decisions grace multiplying decisions my final prayer for you tonight it is not a sin to be celebrated it is only when your heart is derailed through it some of you nobody has ever clapped to say kai i see the hand of god in your life let me pray for you may my god do something between now and the end of the month that will bring strange celebrations to your life in the name of jesus christ say after me in the name of jesus i am a steward of the manifold grace of god say it again i am a steward i am a recipient of the manifold grace of god i activate the graces by faith they begin to speak in every area of my life in the name of jesus christ Amen. 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 One more time. Sing Amen. back home conscious of the fact that you have received this grace also go and write down these graces pray them connect scriptures to them engage certain teachings that are connected to those graces and I assure you by God you will marvel and wonder at the kinds of results that your life begins yeah. to produce the Bible and says they were sent to God this finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, no.
The Bible says, hear me. The Bible says, there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good, except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Hallelujah. 
tell you fire is burning in this house. Fire is burning in this house. Listen. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore seven souls. This is what the Bible says. Seven souls. You are going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, I am in a vision right now. He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baran holding us. baskets. Hear me? Yes. But the baskets are empty. Listen. Say good. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying these baskets will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? See? Hear me? He said, and I will restore. Hear me? Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. Just minister something Restore. to me. We are still praying on the third point. Restore. The Lord said Restore. we should call back opportunities Restore. that were either missed or wasted. Restore. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Restore. Either by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, Restore. it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me. I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will come back. Oh, my God. 
You never know how powerless Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen. Let me tell you something. Listen. Listen. See, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but He's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes, as this power is taking some human beings become victims, we don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is that. Lift your voice.
Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, and that night, Jacob wrestled with him. He said, I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, you are called Israel. For as a prince, you have sought with God and prevailed. He says, and the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me? I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing. Birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension... See, for when you are faithful with what God gives you, He said He measured a thousand cubits and it was to the ankle. And when He saw that you were faithful, He measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. This is ushering season. For when God wants to bless you, He will first increase the anointing. Then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the media. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. If you love this ministry. I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out. Listen. You are going to pray for the ministers. See the way ministers are falling around like leaves. Immorality. All kinds of things. I've said it. Any man can fall from any height. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you love us, pray for us. Pray for us. We are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord... Let a dimension of grace, hear me, hear the prayer point, and fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life. 
that you will become a business of provision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> going to pray for all the arms of the ministry. Our school of ministry, God is raising mighty, mighty men of power. In all spheres, not just ministry. You are going to pray for our students. You are going to pray for the missions. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for koinonia. You are going to pray for all of the things that we are doing. You are going to say, Lord, not one sick body will come and not be healed. Not one oppressed person. You are going to pray for grace to stand criticism. Grace to stand persecution. Grace to remain faithful. Grace to remain grateful. Grace to remain humble. Hallelujah. I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, with Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, 
if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place. Hear me. Or the marriage of your loved ones. This night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three fold blessings. Receive it. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here, let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us, let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough.
that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Zaria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kodi State, just angels in the name of Jesus. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight. Under the instruction that you have given me, my God, there is a spirit upon this ministry, an operation of the Holy Ghost, the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence. At the count of three, my God, let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically. Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of communion. The function of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the earth answer to you. Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I 
honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth a mantle of finance to do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities Put back your shoes. Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Yes, I see a mighty open heavens, mighty, mighty. Open heavens. Jesus, we give you thanks. Jesus, we give you thanks. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you again. Give him thanks. I assure you, as surely as the Lord lives, your testimonies begin right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is sick in your body, whether blood disease, fibroid, lump in your breast, in the name that is above all names, we change genotypes now. SS be changed to AA now. AS be changed to AA now. My grain headaches go in the name of Jesus. Demonic manifestations go now in the name of Jesus. Lump in the breast disappear now. Appendicitis go now. Every kind of infirmity, if it has a name, I command it to bow now. You will return with testimonies. HIV be healed now. Every dead virus, every virus that brings death in your body, I curse it, it dies now. Hepatitis, A, B, and C, go forever now. Hallelujah. Even as human being, if somebody tells you sorry, if I look at you now, come and make up. I look at you and I say, look, you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you. And all of a sudden, you kneel down and say, sir, I am sorry. Do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once? I look at you and say, ah, I hate you, but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy 
And the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked, it not only solves the current problem, it promotes you. Mercy will always lift. Mercy will always lift. It will not just take away the current predicament, but it will lift you and take you higher. Higher. By the mercy and the grace of God. By the mercy and by the grace of God. So it says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman, upon Koinonia, for the time. The time. The Lord wants to lift me. But there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know. And if I am to wait until I know all those things, I may never rise. So he introduces his mercy. And I rise to realms that even me, I know that is beyond my level of understanding. The mercy of God. You will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you. Their skills brought them. But the mercy of God took you there. As we travel around, I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God. And it never stops humbling me. When I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life. Sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look. I say, except for the mercy of God. Who dash monkey banana? Who really dash monkey banana? You see, it's not false humility. It's an acknowledgement of truth. The mercy of God. You are there boasting about being an entrepreneur. And you don't have up to 100,000 in your account. You better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a dimension in ministry. I believe in principles. I teach principles here. But let me tell you the truth. There are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works. There are still gaps and one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill. That's where His mercy comes in. And He amplifies and multiplies little things. And your life becomes a sign and a wonder. Because I have seen women who never train their children. The children, eight children, all of them became great. They got born again. Five are pastors. All of them are millionaires. They love God. They are wonderful people walking in the ways of God. But the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting. That one is not wisdom again. Let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. The Bible says, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. When you know him, you know he's full of compassion and mercy. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is good to me. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is good to me. Before I learned certain principles I knew now, I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified. I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them. Yes, this is true. Way before I understood principles of church growth and increase, I have been seeing the hand of God. And if there is a science to growth, if you don't know it, it should not happen. But mercy, mercy, mercy. Tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives, upon our family, and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men 
is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, a Jimmy, they are not even born again yet, but sincerely, you know, they call it in house of Ferengini. You seen that happen? They take their names to the Habalis and the Habalis will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know Him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to Him. And God just protect them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked. Yet God protect them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home. They never fear death. And somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man. God will deal with you. But you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead. They never fear anything. They fear that there is crisis. Bomb will explode where you know they are. In the night you still see him back. Safe and hale and hearty. You didn't die and he laughed. That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and he cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents home. Because you know that it is based on keeping the principles of the kingdom. They would have died in. It would have, it would have swallowed them. If the Lord had not been by my side, now may Israel say. I think of what men would have done to me. When I didn't know the principles of restoration. When I didn't know the principles of long life. I imagine what would have happened. And I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future. How I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. Yet His mercy keeps me. If all else fail, invoke His mercy. I give you a formula. If all else fail, Invoke His mercy. You have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened. Lord, mercy for my family. They are all sinners. Mercy for my family. Mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men. Nobody in my family is making it. And on legal basis, the devil has his hold upon them. And if you try to talk to them, the painful part is they won't listen to you. Because the God of this system has blinded their minds. But you can invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me. The stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh yeah, yeah. One more stanza. Himela, Himela, everyone. Just that stanza. The stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day, I know it's this for me because I am worthy. Oh,
And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord, and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusation. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen, the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan. I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary I know I've not been a tiger. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed. 
but the blood will speak. Hear me? You live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen. Proverbs 3 teaches us how to live wisely and faithfully, instructing us to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. This week, this day, this time, I want to encourage that we navigate our life decisions. Let's this chapter be our guide let us reflect on its wisdom and apply it to our daily work i believe we also believe that this message that we just listened to from god's servant apostle joshua salman you were richly blessed you were richly richly blessed you received some impartations your eyes were open to miseries and if this message helped you see the value helped you receive power helped you build your faith helped you Give you answers to questions in your mind. Open your understanding. I want you to share with someone who needs direction, who needs this touch, who needs this direction, who needs this blessings, who needs this understanding, who needs that prayer point, that particular prayer point that was said. I want you to share it with someone and she's not just sharing, share with a friend, share with a, um, a family member, share with your loved ones your colleagues at work and yes all the time your enemies are not to be left out please share this video with them and i pray that as we do that the lord will bless us in jesus name and if you're just coming across reflector hub tv for the first time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell for more teachings for more preachings that will help us build our wisdom help us direct our work with god and i pray that as we go into this week I want us to trust God with all our hearts, knowing that He will make our path straight and He will guide us through everything we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like this video. The comment section is always open for your thoughts, your prayer requests, your opinions, or maybe you want to share something with the brethren. The comment section is always, always open. Just drop it in the comment section and we will attend to them and as you do that the lord almighty will bless you in jesus name please let's keep this teachings with listen let us reflect what we've watched let it show in our lives let not just be hearers alone but hearers and doers of god's word let us live a good exemplary life and as we do that the lord will bless us in jesus name amen thank you so much we believe you are blessed stay blessed and see you in the next video